If you guys need help using the MPC software, I now offer live video help sessions via Skype. I cover everything from how to sample inside of the MPC software easily to how to make your own beats from scratch. I also offer help on constructing, arranging, and mixing your own full tracks. So check the link in the video description, and I hope you guys enjoy the video. I am inside Anna 2. I'm gonna use this distorted guitar preset right here. It instantly gives me that gritty feel that I want. So let's go ahead on and create something from scratch with this. Let's do it. Put some reverb on that. And then I'm gonna EQ that to get the sound I want. This is gonna be the basis of our beat right here. We're gonna make everything off of this right here. Now let's give the beat some drama with some hard piano. So I got this piano pulled up in Vengeance Pro. This is very good piano, check this out. This is gonna give us our dramatic feel. So let's go ahead on and drop this. Now to make that thicker, we're gonna grab all of the notes, highlight them, and then we're gonna duplicate them down. we want to EQ this piano is we want to drop it right underneath so we're going to drop all of this right out and then we're going to bring it back in until it goes right underneath the guitar let's do it we want to go out on and shape this melody out let's go out on and drop all of that out and we're going to bring that back in So it's almost like we got the piano backing up the guitar. We EQ'd it right in that space, and now it's underneath. So now what I'm gonna do is make that pop out with some saturation. Check this out, this is without. And this is with. Now the piano is laying underneath the guitar, but you can hear the harmonics and the nice level of the piano now. Okay, now I wanna give the track a little bit of upper melody. So I'm gonna drop some chords over that with the Elite Pianist VST. This is a nice piano. Okay, and then when I put it in chords, this is gonna give that full piano a nice harmonic and melodic feel. So let's go ahead on and drop that. going to take these notes and move them in. Let's move this one in as well. And then this one too over here. And then we're going to go ahead on and EQ that.
and then I'm going to drop some bottom notes to kind of give it a little bit more of a rhythm. Let's do it. Also going to duplicate them down and this is going to kind of give it just a bit more fullness but kind of an underlying texture now that piano has the chords and has a nice little bottom melody that's kind of backing everything up Okay, now I want to give the track some texture and some type of atmosphere. So I'm going to grab a pad. This is kind of a lead pad that I mixed together in Electra X. I kind of made the sound. And it's going to give us like a nice atmospheric sound once we drop it and we EQ it. So let's go ahead and do that. Now you can hear the nice melodic texture that's underneath that kind of gives the track some atmosphere. Look at how we took this sound just by EQing it. So you can kind of get some very interesting sounds if you know how to work your EQ, your high and low cuts, and boost your frequencies where you need to. You can shape your sounds into something totally different and give your tracks a different feel. Okay, now we're going to go in here and everywhere that these sounds hit right here, these right here on top of the hi-hats, we're going to take the hi-hat out and let that sound hit. So let's go ahead on and do that. We're going to take this out right here. We're going to go right here and we're going to take these two out and we're going to take this one out as well, this one out, this one out, and then we're going to go back and do the same for this row right here as well. We're going to take them out right there too. So let's go ahead on and take those out. Delete, right here, delete, delete. This is gonna give this hi-hat some rhythm and it's only gonna come in when notes are not playing. Check it out. This is just a few little tricks that you can learn to kind of move your hi-hats in and out. That way everything kind of fits and your beat always has some type of movement. So you learn how to use your velocities and also take your notes out at different places. That way those notes can play and it's almost like they fill in sounds wherever sounds aren't playing. Thank you.
Okay, so now what I'm going to do is with this two-step hi-hat pattern I just laid down, I'm going to go in there and I'm going to count four, hold shift, and highlight all of them. Every four, I'm going to go it on and highlight. So let's grab this one. Let's do this one here. Um, we're going to skip these two and start here. Then all we're going to do is just take the velocity down. Just going to make our hi-hats move in and out instead of just having a flat two-step hi-hat pattern. Check it out. Now you can feel the hi-hats kind of shifting just a little bit and it's those little small things that help you beat out a lot. A lot of you guys ask me, how do I make sure my 808 is always in key with my beat? One of the tips that I use is I make sure that I drop my 808 pattern in a higher octave first as I'm laying it down. And then I shift my notes down to a lower octave. You can actually match the melody really, really good. So that's what we're going to do. And you'll see what I mean. Let's go ahead on and drop the 808 on the track. We're gonna go it on hold control A, highlight all of the notes, hold shift and a down arrow, and drop it down to a lower octave. About this time in the track is when I level everything really, really quickly. I'm gonna show you how I do that. All I do is just go up here, hit the mixer. I have all my tracks here. I go to the first one, highlight that one, hold shift, and then highlight the last one, and I bring them all down. And all I do is just start with the 808 first. Get a nice little level on my 808. And then I bring in my drums. And then what I'm gonna do is just start bringing in the main instruments all the way down. Sometimes when I'm making beats and I get this far in the track, I try and get a different feel for the track. And I do that by changing octaves of the track. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up here to the track mute screen to where I can see all of my tracks. And all I'm going to do is go to each track and shift them up a few notes. That way I can see if I can get a different feel. So let's go to our guitar track. I'm going to click down here. I'm going to hit Control A and that's going to highlight everything. And then I'm just going to hit the up arrow probably two times. Let's see. One, two. And I'm going to do that with every single track. Go down here, control A, one, two, next track. Go down here, control A, one, two, next track, hit control A, one, two, next track, hit control A, one, two, and then that should shift everything up two notes. Let's see how it sounds now. So you can kind of experiment with your track, see if you can get a different feel for everything just by shifting the notes. Now this particular track, I kind of like how it was before. So I'm going to shift everything back. What I'm going to do is go down here to undo history. Really quick tip. This gives you a history of everything that you have done in your MPC software as you've been making moves. So all I'm going to do is go back up to where I first selected my events right here. Once I find my point here, then all I'm going to do is go here and drag this line up.
That is it for the track, guys. Make sure you guys drop me a comment below if you enjoyed the content. If you want more videos like this, also let me know in the comment section. Hit that thumbs up if you're rocking with the beat. My Twitch link is in the video description. Make sure you come down, have some fun with us, follow the Twitch, subscribe to it, and I'll catch you guys in the chat live on stream. If you want to send me a shout out or anything like that, make sure you guys hit me up on IG, follow me at the Drain Kank, shoot me a DM, and I'll try and get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you guys for tuning in, and I'll check you guys in the next video. Peace out.